welcome to part one of the Blackout Spring Quarter Update. I'm Willa Barnett. And I'm Charlie Heverin. And here are this quarter's top stories. This past weekend, Justin Jackson was selected by the Los Angeles Chargers as the first pick of the NFL draft. Wow. And to think people think Northwestern isn't good at foot... Oh. Oh, 251st. Oh, so the last round. That makes way more sense. <laughs> this year's WAMU show is called Manhattan Miracle the show about a theater major getting a paid summer internship. <laughs> Northwestern unveiled the new Ryan Fieldhouse, which marks the 5,000th Ryan building on campus. The university now has so many Ryans that they'll be using the building's last names to differentiate them, like Seacrest Auditorium, Lochte Field, and the Welsh Gosling Arena. <laughs> This year, the university's acceptance rate dropped to a record low of 8.4%, almost as low as the campus's self-acceptance rate of 0%. 0% is also the number of people who thought Charlie's tie was a good choice. The joke already showed I was in a vulnerable state. Don't kick me while I'm down, Willa. The university's food services have recently switched from Sodexo to Compass which means the dining halls will now be offering a new flavor of disappointment. <laughs> this change has also brought up a heated debate about implications for current staff members. To address the impending employee transition, Northwestern is taking on the kiln motto, artfully fired. <laughs> Northwestern trustees announced they are considering rescinding Bill Cosby's honorary degree he received back in 1997. They promise this is their top priority right after bringing back Alec Klein from his leave of absence and reinstating SAE. The Northwestern mock trial team finished ninth in the country at the national championships held a few weeks ago in Minneapolis-St. Paul. No word yet on where the actual trial team has been all this time. <laughs> the Norris subway announced new hours this quarter, now closing every day at 3 p.m. Northwestern students are sorely disappointed as this leaves only three other Evanston subways open for dinner within a half mile radius. <laughs> the university announced that it will soon be reclassifying economics as a STEM major. Wait a minute, so they can just reclassify anything they want to make it seem better than it really is? Huh. In other news, Northwestern administration has reclassified Northwestern University as Harvard. <laughs> R&B artist Daniel Caesar has been announced as one of the main stage performers at this year's Dillo Day. However, if he's anything like Northwestern Caesar, he'll take forever to show up and then quit when you ask him to do anything. <laughs> Spring is in full swing this quarter, and with it, the return of the Lakeville. Students haven't been able to enjoy all the fun in the sun quite yet, though, due to the unusually large populations of gnats. Here to comment on the new spring weather is a gnat from the Lakeville. Woo so, Nat, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, thanks. Uh, oh, but I do prefer Matthew. Oh. <laughs> I thought those were your eyes. What? Dude, these are glasses. What, are those your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty insensitive stuff, man. So, Matthew, you're known for some gross things, but when you're not surrounding humankind in an apocalyptic hellhole, what do you like to do? Oh, plenty of things. Uh, I eat, I sleep, I read. But you, you read? Yeah. I mean, it's tough, what with having no opposable thumbs and being the size of a rainbow sprinkle. <laughs> but, you know, we manage. I mean, why do you think we follow you people so closely on the lake, Phil? We're reading your phones. Mm. Wow. You know what, Matthew? You're not half bad. Mm. I hope you enjoy the nice weather, and hey, I still need a subletter this summer for- Oh, like hey, yeah, thanks. It's a nice offer, Willa, but I've actually only got like, half an hour left to live, uh, 45 <laughs> minutes tops. Nats have an incredibly short lifespan. Oh God, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Oh, it's fine. And also, hey, old age isn't the worst way to go out. My cousin Natalie just got swallowed by a bicyclist last week. The funeral was beautiful, but then eight of her uh, relatives were stepped on during the service. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hell of an after swarm, though. <laughs> yeah, I was meaning to ask, uh, why do gnats swarm so much? 
Hmm. Mostly it's a crippling fear of isolation and what little fragile time we've been given on this planet. But sometimes <laughs> it's also just because, you know, you don't want to be the one that left out when something mm -hmm. awesome happens, right? I mean, like me and my Naturnity brothers, we still make fun of Nathaniel for missing out on that drop slice of pizza. <laughs> Do all the Nat names include the word Nat? Oh my God, I was, I no. Okay. And I was <laughs> just thinking about that. Just total coincidence with the ones that came to mind. Bad examples. Uh, what's, what's What's your mother's name? Uh, Natasha. <laughs> okay, well, hey, you're welcome here anytime, Matthew. Thanks so much for stopping by. Is there anything else you want people to know? <laughs> is, is he? Uh... For part one of the Blackout Spring Quarter Update, I'm Willa Barnett. And I'm Charlie Heverin. Join us next week for part two of the Spring Quarter Update right here on our Facebook page.